Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, Independent Demonstrator with Stamping Up and today I'm going to share with you how to do a stand card. This one's going to be a cake. Uh, we could do that like with lemonade and so on. I um, saw this card. I'm uh, inspired by Dawn, one of my teammates. If you follow my blog, maybe you're going to recognize a similar card to this. So I got a few things ready to go. <clears throat> Let me grab this one here. And all the measurements will be on my blog. The designer series paper that I'm using, it's this one here. See, it's like a wood on one side and then the filigree on the other side. That is the Floral Romance Specialty Paper on page 11 of your Occasion Catalog. Now, if you're wondering where I get my scallop with this stitch there, that's from the next page right here. That is from Be Mine Stitch Framelit. It's this one here. This is it here. So that's what I done. Okay. Let's. Um, so first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your designer series paper and this piece here at the bottom measure um I had all my uh, measurement here here we go okay the piece at the bottom measure four and a quarter wide by three and a quarter uh, yeah by three and a quarter by four but measure twice okay so four and a quarter by three and a quarter and you're going to score at three quarter now i rounded my corner with my trio punch so i rounded my corner now this is going to get glue at the bottom first i should say four and a quarter by 11 score at five and a half now we're going to attach this and i'm going to use tumble for most of this just because it's a lot of it if you're not just right at the right place, then you can shift it before it's secure there. So we're going to take this, put this right at the bottom here. Like this. Make sure I'm equal. That's what I like about Tombow. It gives you time to move. Okay. Now, I use the stitch framelit, and this would give you two cards. So I use those two pieces here, and again, all the measurements will be on my blog. So I cut those two pieces at the same time. So I put that on top, see, that was there. So I did my frame like this. So that's half of it. I could do another card, and I use the other part. Now, in the back of this, I put... Um, the foam strip. Now we're going to attach that to a piece that measure two and a half by three and three quarter. Two and a half by three and three quarter in the same uh, designer series paper. But before I got a three and a quarter strip here, I think. Yes, half inch by three and three quarter strip. We're going to put that right at the bottom here. This is for an extra, let's say, a shelf to put your cake. I'm going to put that right here, right at the bottom. Let's turn this around, make sure. Could be a little bit lower here. Et voila. Now, we're going to glue this on this piece here. And this one measure two and a half by three and three quarter. We're going to put that right at the top of this. It wipe up. I'm way off. Way, way off. Okay, well, that's okay. See, if you're off like this, what I'm going to do is take my scissors here, because really it don't have to show anywhere. I'm going to remove this here in the back where I'm off. Et voila. Because that don't show the back there. Okay, now this is going to get mount right. You're going to pull that, push that right at the bottom there. So, let's put our glue in the back of this. 
and to get the, the link to my blog for the, uh, all the measurement and the supplies that I use, right at the bottom you get the direct link for my blog post or uh, above in the eye. So now let's make sure this is secure there. Here we go. Now I already pre-color and pre-cut, this is end cut, the cake and uh, and deliver. So I use this cake here in and deliver. This is a host set. One thing I want to make sure that you understand, you do not have to host a party to earn this. Any order of 150 and above, you can choose the hostess set for the rewards. So you do not have to host a party. And this month, the month of April, uh, for my customer appreciation, it's card using this set. So you want to come visit my blog at frenchystamps.com and it's more there. So this is all color in the blend. So I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put a little bit below there so it don't pass the thing. And if you see, I get, you get like the ends there. It's like to attach with this lady there. I just, whoops, I just color on top of it. You barely see the hand. This one, the one in the bag, we're going to use glue dots. And now I cannot find, there they are. So we're going to use glue dots because this one I want flat. And really, I would like just like in the back of this a little bit here. Here we go. Mm. No, I'm going to have to put it on top here. Gonna, oops. Let's put that right about here. Now, this one going to go right below there. I'm not below, but attached right there. This one, we're going to use dimensional. So let me pull two dimensional here. I'm going to put dimensional in the back of this. And then this one going to be raised up a little bit. So the full illusion, really, it's going to be, it looks like we get two uh, layer of the, we're selling the cakes there. And that, um, she did like a wedding, happy spring and wedding. So any, any one, it's good. You can do birthday, you can do, this one could be, maybe I should have done the two side one first and then put my center one so it would have been easier. Et voila. Now this piece here, measure one and three quarter by four and a quarter. Score at half inch at the top. First you're going to do the bottom with your scallop uh, edge lid there. And then you're going to score half inch from there, or half inch and one and a quarter, really. Put glue just on this piece. That's it, just the top piece. Don't put glue on any other piece. And we're going to take this, put that right here. So you see why we had to do our frame first. Let me push that right here. It should go right at the edge of my frame. See, it's right at the edge of my frame. So that's what's going to keep this pop up a bit. Here we go. And then when you fold it down to put in the envelope, it still go down. And then I did a happy birthday sign just with the wood there and I just stamped the happy birthday and um, I did a uh, happy birthday from Amazing Life because I'm using this inside the card. Life's too short uh, to say no to cake because I thought that was perfect. So now this you just want to put glue at the bottom. So two glue dots. Can you hear my dog? My husband don't know I'm shooting a video and he's teasing them or they're talking to him, something. We're going to put that right here. So you see, now when this stand up, I don't know how much you can see, but voila. Now, I use um, the um, little pot and uh, the trio um, flower pot here, the vases builder. 
and I use this one. And then I use the sprig punch. Now I'm looking, I don't know where I put the sprig punch. Here it is. And I cut three of them. And I just build that in the back and I cut them in half too. And I just put that in the back of this. And then I use the um, itty bitty bloom punch and I did different color. That's going to come right here. So that we're going to use glue dots. And the glue dots, I'm just going to put one there, one there. Because those flowers are so thick, that's why you want glue dots in the back. And I know they're a little bit high, my flower, but I think when this stands stay up, see, you got it. I could do my flower a little bit lower. I think maybe I'm going to lower the two top one there, but voila. And then inside, because I use the blend color cake and it always bleed under, so I use another piece of four by five and a quarter. And that we're going to mount that in the back. I don't have, here we go. And we're going to put that in here. And I like when I get a border to white on white like this. Et voila, my friends. So you get your perfect little stand. So you can see like a lemonade stand, any kind of stand, or she had for wedding cake. So you can change that for many occasions. So thanks, Don, for inspiring me. And I hope I inspire you to build a little stand. And again, all the product measurement will all be on my blog below in the description you get the direct link or above in the eye thank you so much until next time happy stamping my friend bye bye for now